All right guys, welcome back to the Gears and Tool channel. My name is Adam, your friendly Sasquatch, and today we are going to be doing a destructive test on this Leatherman ratchet driver. Now this video is gonna be pretty raw. It's not gonna be very scripted. We're going to basically apply as much torque as needed to this Leatherman ratchet to destroy it. And to do that, we're gonna use this torque wrench. So before we get out to our testing area, let's talk about how we're going to set this up so you understand what we're doing. As you know, this Leatherman ratchet just fits into a standard Leatherman bit adapter and allows you to turn um, your fasteners or whatever in one direction and spin freely in the other. So, so that's how it works. We're gonna take this end that goes into the Leatherman and we're gonna put it into my bench vise. And then on this end, which is the standard driver, I'm gonna take a standard quarter inch Phillips head drive, put it in tip down, so it's engaged, but um, still protruding a little bit. And I'll take a quarter inch socket and attach it. And as you can see, there's just a teeny gap between the two here. So this is really ideal because we have full engagement on both the ratchet driver and the socket, but we don't have a real long lever, which would um, cause some you know, kind of lateral load as we're trying to um, do the torque on it. So that's how we're gonna be doing it. And then the socket, of course, would just go into the torque wrench like any other standard socket. All right guys, so here's the back of the torque wrench and um, it does inch pounds instead of foot pounds on the measurement. So we started at 25 all the way up to 250 inch pounds. So, um, you know, 25 inch pounds is about two foot pounds and then 250 inch pound is about 20.8 foot pounds. So I don't know if this is gonna be enough torque to actually destroy the ratchet driver, but we're starting with this torque wrench. Um, there's a great video that Texas Tool Crib already did, and his torque wrench starts at 25 foot pounds and goes up from there. And he was uh, not able to register the torque wrench before the Leatherman ratchet driver broke. So it's somewhere under 25 foot pounds, so we'll see what happens. All right, so that's the setup. Let's go ahead out to the testing area and see how much torque it takes to break this Leatherman ratchet driver. All right, guys, so we're out here in the testing area, AKA my workbench, and we have the Leatherman ratchet driver in my bench vise with the standard uh, Phillips head bit in the top. And then I also have a pan underneath to try and catch any loose pieces that might fall, um, fall away as this thing breaks. So um, I'm starting at 25 inch pounds or about two foot pounds. I don't think this will be any trouble, but we're just gonna do this as kind of a demonstration of how the setup works. So put it on. We're going into counterclockwise rotation. And as we hit the uh, tension, we'll gently go. And then you see the head here clicked. And that's because we exceeded the two foot pounds. So we know that this can hit the two foot pounds, no problem. Okay, so I went ahead and increased the torque to 100 inch pound, which is 8.3 foot pounds. We'll see how it does. All right, click. So it can handle 8.3 foot pounds. Let's go ahead and increase the torque. Okay, I have the torque wrench set for 150 inch pounds or 12.5 foot pounds. See how we do. Okay, click. I can tell that the ratchet is starting to uh, give just a little bit, but it's still holding up, but I can tell that the internal mechanisms are starting to um, flex a little bit or be stressed. Let's go ahead and increase the torque. Okay, I just realized that the previous setting I had the torque wrench on was actually 130 inch pounds, which is 10.4 foot pounds. I now have the torque wrench at 160 inch pounds, which is 13.3 foot pounds. All right, here we go at 160 inch pounds. Okay, clicked. All right, so we can handle 160 inch pounds. Let's go ahead and increase the torque. Okay, we are now at 190 inch pounds or 15.8 foot pounds. Here we go. All right, clicked so it can handle 190 inch pounds. Let's go ahead and increase the torque. We're now at 220 inch pounds, which is 18.3 foot pounds. All 
All right, clicked. So it can handle 220 foot pounds. Let's go ahead and increase the torque. Okay, we're now at 250 inch pounds, which is 20.8 foot pounds. I can definitely tell that we're starting to stress the ratchet a little bit. Um, I can feel some give as I start getting close to the um, clicking point of the torque wrench. So 250 inch pounds, here we go. All right, 250 inch pounds. Okay, so it just handled 250 inch pounds, which is all the higher my uh, torque wrench goes. I'm gonna give it one or two more twists, which will just be a little bit more to see if it can do it. If it can, we're gonna to have to get a different torque wrench. Okay, so I just gave the torque wrench a few more twists, so we're gonna be at around 300 inch pounds here. Let's see what happens. And we broke it. Okay, so you guys aren't gonna believe it. I um, actually broke the tab off the bottom of the ratchet that goes into the Leatherman. The ratchet itself is still working. Um, I thought I broke the ratchet, but it's actually uh, the metal part that goes into the Leatherman. So um, I'd say the ratchet is plenty strong. I am noticing if I um, go ahead and rotate this, there are some, there's a kind of a spot in the ratchet that doesn't quite work as smoothly. I definitely left some marks on some of the teeth in there. Um, I'm actually really surprised though, guys, at um, the maximum my torque wrench would go and then some, about 300 inch pounds. It just broke the tab off and the ratchet is still working. All right, guys, so here's the aftermath of the Leatherman ratchet testing. And uh, as you can see, the ratchet is still in one piece. However, the tab that actually goes into the Leatherman tool snapped off. And I'm gonna try and show you as best I can here. It's it snapped off pretty cleanly. There's not a lot of twist or anything like that. It just kind of sheared right off. Now I had the bench vise clamped right up against um, the tool, trying to give as much meat as possible in the bench vise. Um, so this little tab wouldn't twist or anything like that or deflect. So uh, I guess it was just, just too much for the bottom of the Leatherman ratchet driver there. As you can see, it just, it just sheared cleanly off. I am gonna say that the ratchet driver is not, um, the internal components have definitely received a little damage as I rotate this. It feels kind of sloppy. Um, it, it feels a little kind of, I wouldn't say it's loose like side to side, but as I rotate, the teeth don't feel like they're evenly spaced anymore. And there's one or two spots in there where it kind of sticks a bit, um, like the teeth have been flattened out or damaged, but it still locks in the opposite direction in every position of the ratchet. So I'm gonna give Leatherman the win on this, guys. I mean, the, the new feature of this is actually the ratchet not the part that goes into the tool. And the part that goes into the tool is what broke off. So I would say that the Leatherman ratchet is acceptably well designed. Now in order to break this ratchet, I had to go just outside the calibrated torque range of my torque wrench, which is 250 inch pounds. Um, I'm estimating it was around 300 inch pounds that this um, Leatherman ratchet broke. So that works out to be right at 25 foot pounds. So, um, <laughs> I'm really surprised guys. I thought it would break a little bit earlier than 25 foot pounds, around 20 foot pounds, 18, 20 foot pounds. I could, I could definitely feel the ratchet was starting to feel a little slushy, uh, like it was giving a little bit internally. So I knew that I was getting close to the limit, which is why I went ahead and gave my torque wrench a, a good twist past um, the 250 inch pounds and it sheared right off. So we discovered today at about 25 foot pounds, the actual bit driver breaks off. Um, one question I have is, does the actual adapter have the capability of withstanding 25 foot pounds? So in a future video, I'm gonna take a Leatherman Wave, not my nice Leatherman Charge, but I'll take a Leatherman Wave, which has the same bit adapter, put it into my bench vise, and we'll do a torque wrench test to see if it can withstand the 25 foot pounds that the ratchet driver can. If it can't, it doesn't really even matter that the ratchet driver broke because something else like the tool would break first, which I'm actually kind of suspicious. I don't think this tool is gonna to be able to hold 25 foot pounds, but we're gonna find out. So if you're interested in seeing that video, uh, hit the like button below. It helps this channel out a lot and hit that subscribe and bell icon so you'll be notified when I come out with that video. And as always, cheers.